Sick. Sick. <laughs> oh. G'day everyone and welcome to another Full Scale Fishing Adventures episode. Today we're doing something slightly different. We are on the flats of the Exmouth Gulf. Very excited, it's sort of back in my natural habitat with a fly rod cruising on the electric. Um, and it's just an exploring day. I know there's big queenies, I know there's permits and big GTs. So I'm going to get a couple of rods rigged up. And we're just going to cruise the flats for the day. It should just be magnificent. The weather, you know, it's a little bit cloudy, um, but I think it'll burn off once that sun gets um, above us and light winds. So good spotting conditions. And we'll just see, um, see what we can't find. All right, we are ready to go. Gone with a nine weight Primal Mega nine footer um, floating line and then just a bucktail deceiver on some 40 pound fluoro thought that would be good for the queenies and possibly the gts and then i've got down here um, one of the scott sectors with a little flexo crab and some 20 pound fluoro leader it's going to be hard because everything will happen really quickly i'm sure um, but yeah, if I start seeing more, you know, permit over, say, queenfish or GTs, then I'll, you know, use the other rod. But I'm going to start, start with the bait fish pattern. And also got 10 litres of Aerogard on because the sand flies down here are absolutely horrific. Should be a good day. So we've got big incoming tide at the moment so stuff should be pushing up onto the flat I would think. Just gonna work my way in as shallow as I can and I don't know what that is there. Um, and that way I'll have the best visibility. Oof, something boofed in there. A few things going on. just the start of a big day too so don't need to get too carried away straight up man the sand flies are bad I have to make sure I keep that arrow guard up because I'm going to get demolished buzzing all around my head I think the first thing I've noticed is that they've got like these shallow sort of reefy bits and then it drops off onto the sandy groins so there's actually quite a bit of depth in here but it's going to be one of those things if you knew the area then I'm sure you'd navigate them a lot easier but this is my first time out here so Probably going to be doing some digging on the rocks every now and again, I would say. Look at the size of that tusk fish. Saw him way too late. 
They had grand plans to go the other way, but the light's so much better this way. Sort of finished that first flat. The tide was ripping into that creek fairly well. Um, I got the current running down this way on this flat, and then I thought I'd just come up with the wind and run down with it, see what we can't find. That cloud could go away, that'd be nice. Looks like it's going to be a bit of it today. What the hell is a squid doing out on the flats? <laughs> that is craziness. Crazy. Come on, son, play nice. Something like waking on the surface here. The visibility is not great, but I haven't really seen anything apart from a thousand turtles uh, and a multitude of sharks. I think my next plan is there's a bit of a rocky bank along here, so I'll do that. And then there's like an island out there. I'll go have a look out there. Got to find something angry, surely. The water's beautiful. Man, there is so much to explore. It's crazy. Well, that's cool. Not another day. Big tuners. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I dropped him. That was a good bite. <laughs> Holy cow! <laughs> Whoa! What? Whoa! Slow down. Slow down. Man, oh man! <laughs> Wow, that was a ridiculous bite. It just got full air. Full air. <laughs> With my fly in its mouth. That was redonkulous. That was absolutely redonkulous. <laughs> oh, man. Full on, out of the water. Whew. Good fish. Nice to be doing some bending. It's been a slow morning and uh, the old flats oh, have just clouded over. So nice to have another option really. Uh, floating line on the electric. Now that's pretty cool. That's an enjoyable way to get to tuna.
There he is. Is he a long time? No, he's a Mac tuna, I reckon. Still, mental, absolutely mental. No, he's a longy. Longy. Oh, and he's gone. <laughs> oh, pulled out. Oh well. <laughs> that was sick. So much fun. That was really cool. I was going to release him anyway. How cool is that? So cool. Just trying to get upwind of them. And come back down on top of them. There's another patch over there. Oh yeah. Sick. Sick. <laughs> oh, that is fun. That is really fun. Tuna are awesome. <laughs> that was good. Burned up as fast as I could. Got up wind of them. One, 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 one. And then led me to get a good shot. Winding! It's coming towards me. Winding! <laughs> Damn! Gotta get tired on him again. All right. Oh. Oh. <laughs> That's going to need a drink of water after this. <laughs> oh. I hope he hasn't got a shark on him. Phil's going to sharky. Uh. Uh. Oh. They are just such speedsters it is crazy they're so like you got to move so fast to get one to eat it and then man watch out for those knuckles i'm gonna try and not rip the hook out of this one's now it's a fine line between pulling the hook out and taking too long and getting shark Swimming, swimming and swimming. Up you come, this way. Ugh. Yes, I know. You just want to swim and swim and swim and swim. This is just typical tuna. This is where I guess some people say, I'll go and catch a barrel on fly. And it's like, ah, maybe not. Oh. Okay. I'm gonna go running off again. I only just got all that line back. <laughs> you ready? How you going down there? Surely you gotta be getting tired now, dude. I reckon you're looking tired. Okay, this will be fun. Trying to net this. 
around this way. Oh, missed him. It's definitely not easy. Okay, yep, this way, please. All right, this time, are we ready? <laughs> that is a very nice long tail on fly. So stoked. So stoked with that. Damn, that was fun. I didn't get my flats fish, but to be able to come out and catch a tuna like that on a floating line on the electric, that is mental. That is so cool. All right, let's get him back in. I would like to eat you, but that's a little bit too much fish for me. I don't want to waste any. You ready? Here he goes. Yeah! Well, that's day made. That was epic and slightly hectic. So cool. How cloudy is it? <laughs> yeah, came with great intentions of, you know, permit on the flats, queenies on the flats and all sorts of things, but I searched up until late lunchtime and then all the cloud came over and anyone that's done this style of fishing would know that as soon as that cloud comes over things get really hard to see so to be able to mix it up a bit and get a tuna like that that is awesome so stoked so stoked it is just truly amazing the amount of whales in this gulf or particularly this whole you know Exmouth region um, very special to see so many whales and they're up here they they've got calves with them um and yeah just an incredible sight to see these whales you know playing around just chilling or like cruising um very special to see so many around and just hear them all day incredible so i think it is about that time i've got a mammoth run home some 30 or 40 k's but don't fear if you are looking forward to some flats fishing because north of here some very exciting stuff that i'm locked into doing um so stay tuned subscribe to the channel means a lot thanks very much for watching catch you next time